Dave, talk a little bit about yourself and how you developed and got together the Salem Boys. Great, thanks Larry. Um, well, I moved from Salem to California in 1985. Mm -hmm. My father was the pastor of the First Baptist Church in Salem from 1963 to 1985. Mm -hmm. So I did all my schooling here, my siblings did their schooling here, but it was a pretty dramatic move across the country. Mm -hmm. So um, about 10 years into living in LA, I really started missing Salem, the community, all the people that we knew and loved so well and all of my guys that uh, you know I played in bands with since growing up. Probably the biggest difference is how long people have lived there and how far their back their family lines go. Yeah. Um, right. A lot of different you know ethnicities in California and eight million people crammed into a pretty small area by comparison. But people are people and musicians I found bonds with musicians out there that were, were good um, but it didn't have all the cultural and hometown underpinnings and strength that you have in the community that, that you grew up in. So I was 20 years old when I left Salem. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so started coming back in the early 90s and tracked down my closest friends and my musician friends one by one over about a 15 year period. <laughs> all right, introduce the rest of the gang here. Okay, so uh, first. Mark Belanger, hey, friend Mark. of mine. Oh, hello. Good, Good to meet see you. you. Since sixth grade. All right. John Panazopoulos, friend oh, of mine since sixth grade. Michael Wojcik. Mike. And Gary Schofield. You hey, got Mark. it. So this is the this is the hey. core of the Salem boys. And now you all met at Salem High School or at Woodbury? Well, or I, met, I met out? Mark at the sixth grade annex, yeah. which was that great experiment uh, of rounding up all the sixth graders <laughs> <laughs> right out of elementary school, school and throwing them into the high school in the you know, late <laughs> mid, mid 70s. But Mark was a special friend because he was a saxophone player yeah. from fifth, what, fifth grade? Most guys that started playing horns band instruments started in fifth grade. Right. I started in eighth grade. Thought right. oh, it would be a nice idea to get grandpa's sax out of the out of the attic. <laughs> so I was way behind. Yeah. And this guy took me under his wing and showed me the ropes, did the band camp at Woodbury. Right. right. Basically so he could help me get up to speed <laughs> on tenor sax. Oh, that's great. So we had a blast in eighth grade. I ended up going to Allstate, basically on his coattails. But that's when my musical thing really sh widened. Yeah. Came back and marched in the um, marching band at Salem High School. Yep. Freshman sophomore year, we did the Ronald Reagan inaugural oh, parade good, yeah. in 1980, right, right. 81. Right, right, right. And uh, so he's been and it's such a great support. Um, well, having grown up in Salem, you know, all through high school as well, um, I was more of a um, being a saxophone player. You know, Dave was kind of the rock and roll guy too in yeah. in school because he also was a heck of a guitar player still is yeah. and um, so you know besides him you know getting all the girlfriends and all that <laughs> stuff you know I was I was one of the band geeks and the you know and uh, I kind of took him you know he took me under his wing you know and kind of brought me into that you know the the realm of you know being with the, the, the cool guys too you know so it's, but it's um and just from from the high school experience you know it's just I've, I've always stayed in, involved in music I've always I've been playing in bands professionally since 17. Mostly around uh, here. Mostly around here. And is that uh, true of the rest of you guys? Too? Yeah. yeah, everyone has, has <laughs> kind of. lots of you know varied stories as far as their mu musical background. But um, everything you know started right here. And whenever Dave you know pulled me into the Salem Boys thing, and I reconnected with all these guys. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's it's unbelievable how close-knit of a camaraderie that still exists after 30 some odd years. You know, That's uh, pretty, you're from California, you're Georgia, right? right. And the, well, the Salem. rest of you are pretty Salem. local. So, I mean, we, we talk all year long, you know, you know like we're you know, a mile apart rather right. than you know, yeah, thousands yeah. of miles apart. Yeah, well and that's what's, um, I look forward to this. This is the highlight of my summer, my year, every year musically, because this, as you know, most people have seen prior and we'll see tomorrow this is by far the best band you know I've, I've played with and had the honor to play with every year okay. I look forward to it every year 
Let's give it to Quick Finger John. <laughs> <laughs> since I can't, John since Pant I can't, John Pantasov. I can't pronounce your last name, so I figure I'll come with the first. After tomorrow, you will. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've, we've given him a new name, I think. Right? Yeah. Well, we, we, we we'll, decided last night it was. We won't go there for this interview. <laughs> so, I, I must have been 10 years old, 11 years old, and uh, right here uh, off of Dawson Ave in Salem, and uh, had a good friend, Chris Mancuso, who is our bass player. Yeah. He can't be with us today. Right. And world's best bass player. Absolutely. And uh, so he and I, I would play piano, he would play piano as well, and he, uh, he eventually developed to be a great bass player. Right. And uh, we would play together and all of a sudden one day I hear a ringing at, at the door, my front door. Uh, again, must have been 10, 11, 12 years old, somewhere around there. And I open the door, there's Chris with his bass and his, and his amp with this guy, okay, with, with his guitar and his little crate amp. And Chris just looks at me and says, hey, uh, this is Dave. You think that we could jam together? And I said, uh, sure. And that's how we, we got together. And we started playing since 10, 11, 12 years old in my mother's living room, you know. And, uh, and after that, we were introduced to Michael, and we would get together, we would sing. Uh, and then after that, it was only about maybe six, seven years ago that I was introduced to the rest, to the rest of the gang over here, and it's been just incredible. Uh, what do you do besides Salem Boys, since you can only do that? Every oh, my, my day job, uh, I'm a production manager at GE and Lynn. Oh, so, great, great. So, but th this is what keeps me going, and like Mark said, this is the major event of the year when we can all be together and, and get together and do three, four, five gigs. and. It's just fantastic. It's it, within a week, and it's so concentrated, and it's so fun that we just look forward to it every year. So, I, I, I couldn't see myself doing this with with anybody else, with, with these guys. Well, I was gonna say because not only are they the best, you don't at what have they other do. bands that you get involved with. Yeah, I, I do. I, I mean, you know, it, it, confession time now. I, I mean, yeah, it's not I, always. I have, boys, I have, right? I, I've, you know, Mark, Mark has a great, great band, sold out show band, and uh, and he's been doing it forever. And I, I've had a chance to, to play with him, and it was an honor for that. And same with Gary. Gary had a band, has a band, and so it's been. It, but nothing captures the feel when we all get together and we do this. And uh, I, I couldn't see myself doing this on a regular basis with any band because these guys not only are the best at what they do, but from a friendship standpoint, you can't ask for a tighter group. So I'm, I'm really blessed with that. So, Mike and Gary, why don't we give you a I mean, yeah. I mean, professionals, absolutely. Uh, you're starting to develop a backstory here. Uh, I went to Woodbury. I graduated from Salem High School. I left and, uh, and moved away. And uh, the short story, I guess, for me is I reconnected with David in 98 yeah. uh, back in California in, in my travels. And uh, he, we connected on the phone. And, oh, yeah. and he said to me, uh, he said to me, it's nice, nice to hear your voice. And I, and I said the same thing back. And um, he said, uh, are you still singing? And I said, I've never stopped. Yeah. And he said, well... I reason why we spoke was I was headed out that way and I wanted to meet up with him and we sat when we got together first thing David said to me is I have a dream and I want to put together a band and I want these musicians in this band and to this day we have every one of them and I'm so proud of of, of uh, what was put together and, and so proud to be a part of the most professional group of musicians uh, regardless of the fact that we have day jobs and uh, other careers and families, uh, I'll echo John's sentiment. There's no other place that I would rather be from a musical standpoint than working with these guys. It's absolutely magical when, uh, when we get together. And I would imagine Dave feels the same way, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. And I, I um, yeah, we, we the, get um, this mic. Yeah. Sure. I made an announcement at one of the recent shows. I think it was last year at Field of Dreams here. I said, uh, we had Brian Callahan, who's a local music, comes from a great musical family that we all, you know. Knew. How many no members are there, really? <laughs> oh, oh, we've we've we've, we've got a yeah, well, there's, there's the, there's the including band, the backup singers, right? That's right, right. Extended family of the band, right on. Nine core and a thirteen expansion. We're standing on the stage next to Salem High School, 
and Michael and John and Brian Callahan's guesting on drums. And uh, I said, you know, the last, the last gig we did together was in that building over there at the 80, 1982 Gong Show. <laughs> so he was with the band called Domain in yeah. Salem High School in 1981. Did anybody get gonged? <laughs> we didn't get gonged, no. We didn't. We, somehow we won. But um, second year, we recruited him to play synthesizers. So we did a, a Tom Sawyer, a classic Rush tune oh, yeah, that yeah, at the yeah, time was right. the hot thing. And so we, and we, had, we had such a great history. Then I realized that might have been the last time these two guys have actually played in front of a full audience. Right, right. So here we are all these years later, back at ground zero, and it, it just adds to the, the beauty and the Salem spirit with which we all, you know, really are feasting on right now. All right, um, let's give the mic to Gary, talk a little bit about your background. Of course, you're, you've been in this area for quite a while. My whole life, 50 all years. Life, and uh, you've mentioned you do a lot of bands, and you're also... Yeah, I played in cover bands for 30 don't you? years. Yeah, you do we production do, I do sound, well? I do lights, I play in bands, and whatever music takes me, you know, it's, it's a great. And I came from these guys from a different offshoot, which was Chris Mancuso, and he played with my brother for years, Eric Schofield, and different bands in town and originals and stuff. And, and playing with those guys hooked me up with these guys and brings Salem all back together in one big full circle. And it's, 